An unfortunate ending for a local wildlife rescue. The bear removed from a tree in downtown Roanoke we told you about yesterday had to be put down. And 10 News reporter Amy Cockrum has been working for you looking into this. She's live outside the center in the square in Roanoke where that bear was found in the tree yesterday. So Amy, we understand this bear was severely underweight and malnourished. John, wildlife biologists tell me that this bear was about half the size of a healthy bear its age. They also tell me that this bear was conditioned to human food like trash, and those are two reasons why they say they couldn't release it back into the wild. Commotion in downtown Roanoke on Monday. People gathering around to catch a glimpse at the small bear outside of center in the square. A firefighter rescued it from the tree after it was tranquilized, bringing it back down safely but ultimately the bear had to be euthanized. This is not what anybody that's a wildlife biologist signs on to do. This is the least favorite part of our job. DWR biologist Nelson Lafon says they looked at releasing it back into the wild as well as keeping it in captivity. Well, options are very limited and in this case, honestly, this would not have been a good candidate for zoos to take. Zoos have high standards. While often a spectacle, Lafon says situations like these aren't that uncommon. So we've had bears in downtown Roanoke before. It's not like an annual event. It's more rare than that. Of course, we have bears in Roanoke every year out in the communities around downtown and because we live in bear habitat. In 2017, another bear was removed from the tree on Church Avenue. This one much bigger. It entered a nearby parking garage after running through the parking lot of Texas Tavern. The next day, it was released back into the wild. They naturally tree up. That's what they do when they feel threatened. And if it wasn't for people in downtown probably making that bear feel uncomfortable, it would have moved on. And, you know, if people would not have stayed around the tree, the bear would have come down from the tree like they do when danger passes, and it would have moved on. To prevent bears from showing up in your area, you can clean your grills, secure your garbage, and put away pet and bird food. Live in Roanoke, Amy Cockrum to News, working for you.